Hi guys, welcome back to Home Life with Rebecca. Happy Friday. So excuse all the laundry on my bed. I was washing the boys' sheets and blankets, but I wanted to go over some stuff that we're planning on doing with our tax return. And if we ever get the settlement that I keep talking about, you know, those things like for workman's comp, they tend to take a very long time. We're going on like three years now. <laughs> At this point, I don't even know if we're gonna see the rest of it. We've seen some of it, like in little tiny chunks, but that's the way it goes. I am trying to drink my coffee from this morning. It's like almost all the way full. I didn't drink any of it this morning. And I keep heating it up and it's just not getting warm enough and I just don't want it. Yeah, so I'm probably not going to drink it. Um, so I wrote down in my budget planner kind of like a list last month of things that I wanted to buy when we get the money or things we wanted to do, things we want to save for, all that kind of stuff. And I just labeled it Dream Big. But before I jump into this, um, the colonoscopy, I I don't know what's going on, at least with my YouTube, and I don't know if it's because I do it all off of my phone. I'm not seeing any comments. Um, I have to go into the YouTube studio app, um, and even then sometimes I'm not seeing comments, but then all of a sudden I'll get like a couple comments and I'll go to answer them, and then tons of comments will appear underneath it from like months ago like videos from like six months ago. I mean, so I don't know why that's happening because I'm continually looking on my YouTube, like at the videos I made to see the comments and they're not there and then I'm seeing them later. So I apologize, I'm not trying to like ignore anybody or just answer you super late. I mean, I know I get busy and you guys understand that, but the main reason is I'm just not, I'm not seeing them and I think uh, Mrs. Peach um, Thrifty Living, she's even commented, I saw some old comments saying, I already commented on this and now my comment's gone. So I'm not sure why that's happening. I don't know. But I did see a few comments. So I'm, when I finish making this video, I'm going to jump onto the YouTube studio app and see if I have any more comments to respond to. Um, but the colonoscopy is thankfully over. Somebody asked, uh, I think it was the quaint housewife asked what I ate afterwards. <laughs> so my husband had a coupon for like 10% off a Jersey Mike's. It's just like a sandwich shop, like Subway basically, but a whole lot better. They're really, really good. And he asked me if I wanted a sandwich and I said, sure. So their sandwiches are really big. So one sandwich will feed both of us if we split it in half, but they're like super thick. So it was like turkey and bacon with mayo and lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, <clears throat> the whole nine yards. And I was so hungry. Like I ate the whole entire thing, I think in like 10 minutes. And then I was sick the rest of the night. Like I could not, I was throwing up. I, it just was not pretty. I couldn't keep it down. Sorry about my voice. I couldn't keep it down. Um, I think the medicine that they make you drink for the prep work was still affecting my body. Um, they pump gas into you when they do it kind of like a hysterectomy. So I was very bloated already and I probably should have started small like soup and maybe a couple crackers instead of a huge thick sandwich. So that didn't go well. <laughs> but it was nice of him to um, get me that. And he also brought me like a Coke Zero and I couldn't drink that at all because already having gas pumped into you and then trying to drink something carbonated no bueno i don't know what's going on with my voice i think i'm losing it i think our family keeps getting sick because the weather here in eastern idaho has been really weird this year we actually hit the 50s yesterday which is unheard of this time of year and then now today it's snowing so i think the fluctuation of temperatures is making me keep like getting like a cold and a runny nose and losing my voice okay and then the other thing I wanted to say really quick, and I'll try to remember to show you before I end this video, that I made a dessert in the crock pot. I've made it before with just canned cherries and like a yellow cake mix or a white cake mix, but I saw online, and I don't remember whose channel it was, that they used crushed pineapple with the canned cherry and white cake mix, and then like half a stick of butter, they cut it really thin and put it on top. 
So that's what I have in the crock pot. It's one can of cherry. I didn't have crushed pineapple. I just had pineapple chunks. But it says to save the juice. So when I dumped the pineapple, I strained the juice and put it aside. So put the cherry and pineapple in the crock pot. I sprayed it so it didn't stick. I, I don't, if you use the crock pot bags, because sometimes we do, I wouldn't recommend it with this kind of dish because it's. It, I don't think it'll cook right. <clears throat> so I put the fruit in and then I just dumped the cake mix in and I patted it down with my hands. And then I cut half a stick of butter straight from the fridge. I cut it really thin, put it on top. And then I poured the pineapple juice on the top, put the lid on, set it on high. It says to cook it on high for about three hours. So we will see how that turns out. It looked really good on the video, so I'm hoping that ours turns out good as well. Okay, so things that I want to get dreaming big with tax return and settlement money. So this is my for sure list. Um, we call this season, me and my husband call it Taxmas. Um, and I know that it won't always be this way because as the kids get older, we obviously won't be able to claim them, but we do get a substantial amount of money back. I mean, it's not, you know, we're not rich by any means, but it is enough to do for sure the things on my for sure list. And then if we get that, the settlement, then we can do even more. Um, so like all of my kiddos work, but they, none of them worked enough hours because they're all going to school that they needed to do anything. So we went ahead and claimed them. So, and like, um, even for me, like with YouTube, I didn't, I think I made a hundred dollars this year. <laughs> so yeah, it was nothing. Okay. So for sure, we want to pay off all of our credit cards. I think we have about $4,000 in debt again. It, it, <laughs> It adds up really easy, you guys. We were almost debt-free a few months ago. We had paid some stuff off, then we racked it back up again. It is so easy to do. It's like things come up, Christmas, um, clothing for the kids. Uh, we put uh, some shoes at Kohl's on a credit card for one of the kiddos. Um, trying to fix the cars over and over again with the radiator, um, the heater in the car. <sighs> Just household expenses that came up that we hadn't budgeted for which we should i'm trying to rebuild my emergency fund i'm back at a thousand dollars with it but i like to keep putting in it because we had almost 1400 so i want to keep adding to that okay so we're going to pay off all our credit cards so that will be wiped out right now we have no more car payments and then i put i want to do a huge grocery stock up i'm not like talking like prepper stock up or anything like that but i do want to do a huge costco or sam's club hall winkle hall um because we we are we're, we're eating out of our pantry every single week um i'm using stuff from downstairs where we keep our extra food uh, i've got six kids in the house five of them are teenagers i mean food goes really really fast in our household so i want to do a huge huge grocery stock up i want to get new bedding for everybody and I want to get two sets of bedding for everybody. Our, I need to, and that's one of my projects this coming week is I'm going to go through all of our blankets and sheets again. Um, and I'm going to start tossing them because I keep saving them thinking the last time I did this, I was like, oh, I'm going to get rid of them. But then I keep saving them thinking, oh, we might need them. The problem is, is that we're talking like my oldest is 18 and some of it was handed down to me well maybe not since then i think i got rid of those when we moved but a lot of it's really old so this then they're cheap they're cheap sheets they're not like good sheets and blankets um they're stretched out and so they don't fit on the bed and they just pop off the bed anyway and then my kids are irritated <laughs> and they're just they've been washed so much the fabric's really thin it's not it's not warm so i want to get two things of bedding for each kiddo nothing expensive but maybe one set of flannel which I'm probably going to start finding on clearance coming up soon because they're going to start pushing all the spring and summer stuff out. And then one um, set of like cotton, including for me and Adam, because that way they can just keep it like in a drawer or up in their closet or something. And so when they need to change their sheets, it's right there instead of like digging through five bins because this closet right here in our hallway is not big enough to hold comforters and sheets and stuff. I've tried it. It barely holds our towels. My daughter, my oldest daughter's downstairs closet, which we're still fixing. It's still not done. Um, 
had a huge thing to put comforters and stuff, but she uses it. She uses it for clothing and her shoes and just, and actually my other daughter might end up sharing that room with her in the next couple months. Um, cause I would like to have my, the room that Tiffany's in has no window. It's not really meant to be a bedroom, but she made it into one. I'd like to put some of my storage stuff in there, but I don't know. That's way off topic, but I just thought it would be easier if everybody had two sets, two sets of sheets. Um, I don't, maybe I won't even do flannel. I don't know. Cause some of my kiddos don't like flannel, even when it's cold, it irritates them, but just two sets so that when they wash their sheets, they can put the other ones up. So it's not getting worn out so fast. Same with me and Adam's bedding. I mean, it's been about two years since we've gotten some new sheets and blankets and my cats have destroyed this comforter. It's ripping. So it's not good. Um, I also want to get everybody new pillows, um, at least two pillows each for everybody. And is that the bedding? Yeah. And then there's a couple of kids, Wesley and Jillian and Kennedy all need new mattresses. The bot, the springs are coming up. Wesley's mattress has a hole in it. The stuffing's coming out. It's not good or foam, whatever it is. <clears throat> so we need three new twin size mattresses also. So that's on my for sure list. So we've got credit card debt paid off, new bedding for everybody. And you can get like a bed in a bag at like Ross um, for under 20 bucks because nobody has like a king size bed. Me and Adam are the only one that has a queen. The rest of the kiddos have twin and then Parker has a full size bed. So I don't think it's going to be that, that expensive, it's, but it's not something that I can do now. I need that tax return to do it. I also want to get, oh, and then we've got the grocery stock up. Okay. And then I also want to get some new lamps. We need some new lamps in our living room really bad. Um, our lamps are broken, they're falling apart, but I'm not, not anything fancy like the, the floor lamps, the standing ones. I want to get like two or three of those to put down in the basement and then one new one for Wesley's room and then one for our living room. But you usually Walmart sells those for pretty cheap. You can find them for like $20, $30. These are like things that I always want to get and then I just never think to get them or put money aside for them. So I want to get... Where am I, where am I? New towels, I'm going to go through our towels. A lot of them are stained. I'm gonna keep them in the garage for like washing the car, rags, things like that. If the dogs or cats barf, I'm gonna keep the old towels for like messes like that and keep them in the garage. But they're frayed, they're stained, they're really thin. Um, they don't really dry anything well. So I think what I wanna do is assign everybody a color because <laughs> Besides my oldest daughter who has the room downstairs by herself and I don't know why she's got her own bathroom I don't know why the other two kiddos that are down there won't use that bathroom down there So I've got five kids sharing one bathroom up here or using me and Adams And so they'll get towels then they'll forget which towel they have and then they'll get another towel And then before I know it, there's 12 towels in the bathroom <laughs> They've already broken the hook the brand new hook that Adam just put up when we redid this bathroom because they were hanging like five towels, wet towels on one hook. I, I don't know why their brains <laughs> work that way, but I thought maybe I'll, since it's a rainbow bathroom, I'll just have everybody, Parker, you're red, Tiffany, you're green, Wesley, you're blue, Jillian, you're purple, Kennedy, you're yellow, something like that. They have a towel and they have a face towel and a washcloth to match. And with that towel thing being said, everybody's gonna get new loofahs and I'm gonna put five hooks in that bathroom and then put some hooks in the downstairs bathroom in case they use that one so they can stop complaining about people using their loofah so they can remember their color. I will match it to their towel because this mom is getting irritated. <laughs> okay, I an another thing. And so the next couple things will be not just with our tax return, but hopefully when we get that settlement money too, I want to put an egress window downstairs in the basement because this house is not up to code um when we bought it we bought it as is directly from the owner so he didn't have to put that in but we definitely need a window down there because it's just not safe they just have the little tiny basement windows and i don't like it it makes it's always made me nervous since we lived here and then i want to replace all the windows downstairs 
um, we can get it pretty cheap and actually we've had a family friend offer to help us with that expense so I think we're going to do that um, when the weather gets warm. I also want to get new blinds for all the rooms. Again, this is not just tax return money now, this is going in probably to our settlement money. Our cats have destroyed our living room blinds. Um, all the blinds have been here since we moved here and I think they were here way before we moved here so they're nasty. I keep trying to clean them and we try to take our bathroom blinds off to wash them outside last summer and they broke. <laughs> so now I don't even touch them. Adam got them hung back up but they don't go up or down anymore. So I want to get some new blinds, maybe not for every window but at least for the living room, this bathroom, the girls room and Wesley's room. So I think the kitchen that doesn't need any blinds and we don't have blinds on our sliding back door. I want to get some automatic pet dispensers for the cats because I just think they need it. Uh, they meow at me all the time so, and they eat just little bits at a time. It'll come out and then they walk away from it and then I'm dealing with Cooper and Rosie trying to eat their food. So I, I want to get some automatic cat food dispensers and I want to get um, my cats an automatic water fountain like my sister's cat has for downstairs. Um, this is on my maybe list about automatic kitty litter dispenser thing. I've seen they're expensive. So I don't know if anybody has one. Let me know if they're worth the money. But I'm so sick of cat poo. I hate litter boxes. But we have three cats in our house. And I just found out we're going to have my sister's cat for probably, probably a long while yet. So if anybody has suggestions for like multiple cats with kitty litter, leave them in the comments down below. I want to get curtains, um, blackout curtains for my room and for the living room also, but those aren't expensive. Um, I want to get a wardrobe rack for Tiffany if she ends up keeping that utility closet room. She has nowhere to hang her clothes. She shoves everything in her cubbies. And I also would like to get her uh, a new used desk and a new used dresser. Um, I would like to get a family picture done. We haven't had a family portrait done since I was pregnant with Kennedy and I, I was just pregnant with her. So we're talking a very long time ago because she's going to be 10 in July. And I think we had them done in Dece that December when I was pregnant with her. Um, I'd like to get some family portraits done. It's been way too long. Um, I've got, you know, Allie's going to be 19 in July. Parker's going to be 18. I wasn't able to do senior pictures. I mean, I got their cap and gown pictures, but you know, people like do the senior ones where they pose in like a field. I don't know, but I, I just, I want some family pictures done. Nothing like super fancy, but a group, a nice group picture. Um, and then the big, the big maybes, cause I don't know how much we are getting back for our settlement. We, it could possibly be enough that we could pay cash for a new used car. Oh, I forgot. For a for sure thing that I want to do is pay the car insurance. Um, Allie's not ready to drive yet. We stopped pushing her with it because I think it was making it worse. She's just not there. But Parker is. But he hasn't been able to go get his license because the minute he takes that test and he gets that license in his hand, he has to have car insurance and we, we can't afford it. So we just changed insurance so that it's cheaper. But what I want to do is pay the car insurance for the whole entire year and then Parker can pay us an amount every month um, so that it's not such a big amount because he still needs to go to school and he's already paying his cell phone bill. And I just thought that might be a little bit easier. And then we don't have to worry if like he's late or he doesn't have enough that we know it's he's still covered, we're still covered, everybody's covered. Um, and I'd like to do the same thing when Allie starts driving as well. Okay, um, so these are the big maybes. Um, this is more my dream list. I would like to get everybody new bedroom furniture. <laughs> Doesn't have to be brand new. I mean, I talked about Tiffany's desk, but the one that she found online was like $80. So it wasn't, it was just a little tiny desk. Um, I would like to replace my furniture, like the dressers and like the broken bookshelf there and the nightstands with white. I really want to do white in here 
with touches of purples and peaches and like mint greens. I really like that. Adam seems to like it as well. So that's just kind of me dreaming. Um, same thing for all the kiddos. Nobody has like, I think the only one that has like a dresser dresser is me and Adam and then Kennedy. But Kennedy's dresser actually goes with our dresser. It goes with this dresser. So, and the rest of the kids are, they have the cubbies that we bought at Sam's Club like four years ago, which are falling apart and they just don't hold enough with the it, they worked really well when the kids were younger and their clothes were smaller but like I finally had to get my son Parker a wardrobe rack because trying to fit his skater jeans and stuff in the cubby it was breaking the cubbies it just it doesn't work so I would like to get everybody a dresser you know a nice nightstand I think we're gonna um sell Kennedy's kitchen um she keeps saying no but she does not play with it I think I'm gonna donate it to the church actually and I think if I show her some pictures of a nice dresser or maybe a small little vanity or something like that might get her excited because um, I'd also like to get rid of the bunk bed in there and get just two twin beds. Uh, for some reason, they're just not sleeping up there on the top bunk. They just shove all their stuffed animals up there and they end up sleeping in the same bed. I, I don't know. The ceilings are really low and I think it's a uh, claustrophobic um now that they're taller th nobody likes to sleep up there so i'd like to get rid of that bunk bed or sell it and just get two two twin frames for them to sleep on we need new mattresses anyway and then put like a dresser in the middle that they can share that has like a mirror or something i don't know this this is just me on my dream part um i would like to make another room in the basement because although i said we might have a kiddo my 15 year old sharing a room with my 18 year old they are very against it and they said that they will make my life miserable if i make them share a room <laughs> and i was like well what if parker and Wes share a room and then they were fighting about that because they don't want to share a room either and i'm like you know you guys need to get over it because we're a big family and you might have to share a room i have given up space long enough because i don't think there's any reason why my 18 year old daughter should have that huge master. It's bigger than our bedroom. Why she should have that all to herself and treat it like an apartment. She don't pay rent. <laughs> and they keep saying, well, then you go down there, you and dad. I'm not going to go downstairs and leave Kennedy up here um, or chance my kiddos uh, <laughs> sneaking out or something. I'm, I'm staying upstairs. I think somebody needs to share that bedroom or start paying me some rent. <laughs> um, but it would be nice to add get that fireplace knocked the brick that's down there get that knocked off because there's like five feet of space behind that wall it's just wasted space um it'd be nice to make like a playroom so we have somewhere to put um the air hockey table and the um, ping pong table or make it another bedroom I don't know or make it a storage thing for me just just dreaming here just dreaming we are taking Titans kennel down probably this this maybe tomorrow um so we can put the ping pong table back up I would like to get a portable treadmill. I've seen these all over online. Let me know if you have one. This is not a regular treadmill. They're portable ones that they just come with like a stand if you need a holding bar. Just because I want to try to get back in shape. I'm not young like I used to be and try different exercises and it hurts my knees because I think I have arthritis. Um, so I've, I like to walk. Um, and it's been such a black ice season here in Eastern Idaho. Like it'll get really cold and everything will freeze and it'll start to half melt everything. And it's just been yucky out. Um, it'd be nice to have like a little portable treadmill that I can walk on those in-between days. But again, I'm just dreaming here. Who knows, I might not even use it. Although I am starting my Pilates bar challenge today. I'm gonna start it today, it's 28 days. So I will let you know too how that goes. I would like to get new dishes. I don't care if they're used. I don't care if they're new. All of our dishes are breaking. I've thrown away so many plates and bowls over the last couple months. Um, we got them when we moved here from the thrift store. They've taken a, be in, a beating. It's so bad that I, I'm just wasting money on paper plates because we don't have enough. So I, I'd like to get a new set of dishes. Um, I'd like to get both of our dogs groomed and put aside money like for an envelope so that they're getting groomed like every two months or so. And I'd also like to get our orange cat groomed. My sister's going to be sending us some money to get Titan groomed because they used to groom them I think every three months. 
And so I'd like to be able to do our orange cat at the same time because he's really fat and he's getting older and I think he's having a harder time cleaning himself. Um, I already said about the towels. Oh, the doctor when I was telling him about my menopause and like the hot flashes, he said I need to get this thing called the bed jet system where it's like you don't have to buy like the Tempur-Pedic mattress where it comes with it. So this is like a separate device that you hook up to your bed. He said his wife is going through menopause. They bought this thing and it's a game changer because she can cool her side of the bed and then warm it up as needed. I So I was really excited about it and so I came home and I looked it up and it's like $300. So that went on my <laughs> that went on my wish list, which although it is cheaper than spending like $8,000 on a Tempur-Pedic mattress like my dad used to have. Um, in May, we are going to Salt Lake City. My daughter Allie and my daughter Tiffany bought themselves tickets to go see Melanie Martinez, uh, some singer. But it is the week of my daughter Jillian's 13th birthday. So I want, this will probably be a for sure thing. So I don't know why it's in my maybe list. But I want to get a hotel room for all of us. And they can go to the concert. We'll drop them off. It, the, the hotels there are really close to the arena they're going to be at. It's the same place we saw John Mayer. I'd like to get a hotel that has like a nice swimming pool and stuff and then just celebrate Jillian's birthday there, take her out to eat somewhere. So that's kind of, it's on the to-do like for sure, but also the wish list because I don't know how much we'll be able to do when we're there, but we are going to go. Um, and I think that is all I have. Oh, uh, it says uh, the mini air split, like the for the air and the heat. I think the... Uh, the least amount that we got quoted for was like under 20000 So, I, I mean, that probably won't happen. I don't think our settlement's going to be enough to pay for that with cash. Um, going back to the solar thing, I think my husband knows I'm not for it. He hasn't really said much. I sent him some stuff that I found online that he watched. So, I, I just think, it. I just don't think it's a good idea right now. Um... But depending on how much we get back, uh, I don't think it would be enough to just straight pay cash for $35,000. I don't think we're going to get that much back at all. Um, but maybe we can start like a sinking fund for it. Because I, I think if you have something like solar, it will help if you pay for it up front. Not get it and then you're making $200 payments every month for it. Like Same thing with the car. As much as I would like to have a new car, I'd rather get something that we could pay cash for and not have a car payment attached to it. But I've also got kiddos that are going to start driving and going to school and I can't be a chauffeur forever. And I want them to go to school so they can't really work full time. It's, it's, it's hard. I mean, I mean, yes, they could. My kids don't like that. I, I know for a fact that if they try to do school full time and work full time, they'll burn out and end up not doing either. And that's not saying that they're not good kids I'm like that too. You put too much on my plate and then I'm just like, I, I just shut down. So to me, the most important thing is if they're wanting to further their education, then I want them to do that, whether it's a trade school or, you know, college, because I've got another kiddo graduating in May. So teenagers, expensive. But that's, that's my list. Hope that wasn't too boring. Oh, I forgot I put down here painting the bedrooms. We are definitely doing that. I'm going to set aside money with the tax return month, tax return because we're going to paint my bedroom, Wesley's bedroom, Jillian and Kennedy's bedroom, and then maybe the basement. I don't know about the basement yet because like I said, if our settlement ends up being a good amount of money, we might be able to add like an extra room, excuse me, or put, they help us put the windows down there. Then I want to wait to paint in there until that kind of stuff was done. But that's it. Sorry, my voice sounds so bad. I made my currently page for my budget planner. <sighs> and then I just kept the monthly thing Valentine-ish. So I worked on that today. I'm hoping that our dessert turns out good. We're having tacos tonight. So I just took out ground beef. I do have to run to Walmart and get some corn tortillas so I'm just gonna fry them because I hate the taco shells from the store they don't they're not good they just break uh 
And then I need some like uh, lettuce and tomato out. Oh, here's my monthly spread. Here's my monthly spread and my big happy planner. I know a lot of people like it's too busy, but I don't know, I like it. Here's my currently page. I don't know, I think it's cute. I know it's not for everybody, but what's that saying? You do you. I love all the cute stickers. Don't read my stuff, but this was my first week in February spread. And then I already made my next week. I tried to draw boxes by myself and you can see how crooked they are, but that's okay. I think once I start writing in it, it'll look better because I'm got to start drawing my boxes or doodling stuff because otherwise the stickers are going to go way too fast. But I tried to make a dog theme and I realized, oh, that's not a dog. That's a fox. And I think I don't know, are those dogs or cats? I couldn't tell. But regardless, I thought it was cute. I even got some doggy washi tape. I'll show you our dessert when we're done and I hope you enjoyed this video. So it's all done. I've already tasted it and it is so, so good. Like, I'm talking really good, you guys have to try it. I'll link the recipe in the description box below. It is super, super yummy. So, so tasty. It'd be really good with some vanilla ice cream on top. But we don't have any ice cream, so... Having a dessert before dinner. Chicken tendies, bye.